Hey everybody, we decided it's time to show you my Kashan and shawls because we're packing for India. Let's go. I'm gonna try on my wedding kashan first. So we, the first time we went to the village together, we had just gotten engaged. And I remember going to Warjihan's aunt and uncle's house to try on a kashan because I had already decided I wanted to wear this. Yeah. At our wedding, instead of a white dress, I've never wanted to wear a white dress for a wedding. And I think this is beautiful. So I was really honored to wear this at our wedding. Of course, someone had to dress me, but I'm a little bit familiar with this kind of skirt because this is similar to the kind of skirt that they wear in Fiji. In Fiji, it's called a Sulu, and it's just a wrap around like this, so really simple. But this is much nicer than the Sulus I have. The Sulus I have are very casual. And in Dankul, we call this as Kashan. Yes, this is a Kashan. So, for the wedding, they had to dress me. But for now, you have to try yourself. Yeah. And when I've worn it in Bangkok, Warchihan does it for me. So they do it quite tight. Good. You're doing good. Um, I think for our wedding, I wore a belt. Yeah. Because I wasn't wearing any shorts underneath, right? So obviously now I'm wearing shorts. Um, so you can just kind of tuck it in. And also for our wedding, I covered, I pulled my shirt over on top of this. Not gonna do that for right now. And for our wedding, I chose just to wear this white shirt because I didn't wanna take anything away from this skirt. I just wanted to be very simple on the top. So these Kashan are actually really expensive. Some of our Naga friends were telling me they're not making so many anymore. Um, so obviously when there's not so many, the price goes up. This Kashan came from uh, Auntie Jenny's shop, from Warjihan's aunt's yeah. shop. I didn't choose it, they chose it for me. I just love it, so it didn't really matter to me which one I wore. But I just, I love the red. And the pattern, you know? Like yeah, it's design. beautiful. Is this the one that girls always wear when they get married? Is this, they always wear the same style? Uh, not I sure. don't think so, I don't oh, know. Oh, not sure, okay. So it's easy to walk because of the way I tied it. So it's just over here. So it's, it's easy to walk. Ta-da! Kashan number one. So the reason we wanted to make this video too is that we're going to India next week. Yay! And I wanted to air out all the kashan because sometimes they smell a little bit like smoke from the kitchen fire. So I've been airing them all out, just letting them hang in the sun and thought might as well show you guys because they're so pretty. This is the kashan that I wore at our wedding reception. And in Warchi's culture, the reception is when the bride and groom give gifts to the people who raised them, so they give thank you gifts. And of course, um, that's after lunch, right? After the meal. And then there was some dancing. So I changed into this one. So this is more of a black one. Definitely a different pattern. It's kind of more ornate with these things. And also, we are at the swimming pool at our condo, so it's a little bit windy. Sorry about that. It's good for us in Bangkok that it's a little bit windy. Yeah. <laughs> it's been really hot. Okay, so this is Kashan 
number Beautiful. I think this also came from your aunt's shop, is that right? And yes. someone chose this for me. This is something that we will treasure forever, yeah? These are some Especially of our... You. Yeah, these are some of our treasures. Well, this one is also beautiful. Look at kind of the neon colors here. Love it. Whee! So, and then the inside, it's like this. Still smells a little bit like the fire, so I think I didn't air it out as much as I needed to. It's beautiful. I would love to watch someone make these, because they're hand woven, yeah, right? I think we can do that. I would love you to. You know, like Andy Tanmila. Yeah. She's good with this. Wait, is this one bigger than? I think it's longer, yeah. Yeah. Oops. Gotta pull it further up here. Even though I'm taller than some people <laughs> in the Dunkul community, these kashan, these skirts still work for me. So you can pull it up as much as you need to. So again, I love how everything is kind of centered around red. I really loved red, but these kashan really stand out. And you can look at it and you know that's a dunkul kashan. It's kind of the defining feature of their clothes, their traditional clothes. Let's let the focus be on the cushion and not on the one wearing it. Yay! Okay. Okay, here is, we'll just do one more. Also beautiful. It seems like not as traditional as the other ones. So the colors. I think when we go to India, or she's mom is gonna have to give me a lesson. She's gonna watch our video and be like, Susan, you put it on all wrong. Oh yeah, I think good. You think so? Just have to remember to keep this part up. This is what women typically wear to church. Not so much the younger women, but the older women. But I wear this to church too, in the village. So pretty, huh? Yeah. So bright and so kind of Beautiful. This is called a kajon. 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 And it is worn around the shoulders. So like this. And like this. <laughs> Just not. Where's my hand? Where's I don't I don't quite understand how you're supposed to do things with your hands. Right, is this right? Mm -hmm. Looking nice on you. <laughs> okay, let's do one more shawl. This time, just a smaller one. I just put on one more kashan and one more kajon. So it seems like this kajon is very traditional because I've seen this one a lot in the village. Do you know what this is supposed to be? No? Okay. All right. This looks nice on you. <laughs> Okay, I'll try on one more cajon, the really small one. Oh, but which side is... Yeah, that's... Okay, this is the... Okay. So this would be like this, yeah? Would you also do like this? Yeah. For this one? And this is not just a winter thing, right? This is an all-the-time yeah, mm -hmm. the red one. Still beautiful. We wanted to let you know that Wojohan doesn't know the names of all the Kashan, which obviously I don't either. So if you 
If there are different names for them, you're welcome to leave them in the comments. We also wanted to tell you that we are going to India next week. I haven't been for more than four years to see Warchihan's family. And Warchihan hasn't been since 2019, thanks to COVID. So we are finally able to travel and we'll be, of course, flying into Infall, spending a few days in April, and spending most of our time in the village. So next time we see you, we'll be coming from Lahui, Ukrul District, Manipur, India. See you next time. It's been so long.